Hello and welcome survivor, Mr. Black here and back at you with a brand new tutorial on Ark Survival Evolved. Um, this game is a survival game but it is extremely notorious for not telling you what you're supposed to do. Um, but usually whenever you get to spawn they let you to choose where to spawn and if it's uh, just always choose this recommended place because they usually will recommend you somewhere where there is herbivores and passive creatures like you can see now we're just walking around these big old dinosaurs and uh, <laughs> what's wrong with your leg buddy uh, we're working around big dinosaurs and all types of passive dinosaurs they're not gonna fight us they're not gonna attack us as long as we don't fight them and usually they will spawn you just by the water which is going to be very very important you can go to the water press E and your character will drink water so with that out of the way when you spawn in the very first thing you should be doing is gathering these little rocks here as you can see by going to them pressing e okay and then the next thing you are going to do is to pick up some of those berries and you need a lot of berries because this is going to be primary your primary source of food when just starting up at least until you'll be able to kill some little dinos and cook some meat for yourself you are going to have to feed yourself with berries so picking up as many as many berries as you need uh, also pick up some of those stones so once you picked up all of this you probably will have a couple levels in like the levels goes pretty fast at first so if you're in a pvp um i would advise you get some help some movement speed some stamina if you're in a pve i will advise you get some health some stamina and some weight so the first thing you're going to do is definitely pick a uh, hit some tree you need to hit a tree most survival games you need to hit a tree to get started so as you see on the left corner on the left side we got eight uh, wood 16 touch 32 touch i think it should be enough to start to deal some damage to ourselves because we are we're using our fists so one thing i needed to make i need to make sure is that um, you see those berries you can eat most type of berries apart from two types of berries the steam berries the white ones and the narco berries the black ones do not eat those if you eat the steam berries you're gonna have your stamina recovered but you're gonna get thirsty very 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 fast and if you eat the narco berries you're going to fall asleep and you don't want to fall asleep so now we can do is go to crafting here you see there's inventory and here crafting you can go to stone pick craft one of those uh, go to the ingram points all uh, on top uh, of your inventory so once you open up the ingram list you are going to be prompted with the engrams that you can learn depending on which level you are so right now we're level four <clears throat> so now right now we're level four we can learn up to these things so we need a stone hatchet we need a spear a campfire a cloth search and a cloth pad for now should do the trick so what else do we need to craft the stone hatchet we need some flint um so a flint to get it we you need to have a stone uh, stone pick that we had already you're going to click on it and drag it to your hotbar by pressing the button designated in your hotbar you're going to equip the weapon or the tool you're gonna go to a rock and hit it with a stone pick so a stone pick will give you stones but also give you much more a flint than than actual stone we're getting some metal which is quite good but actually unusual uh, usually you'll actually have to have a higher quality uh, tool to be able to get metal and at first you'll need to hit a lot of rocks with the stone picks to get the metal so we, were, we can say that we were pretty lucky on that one which is pretty good Eight metal we're gonna hold on to that we got some flint, we got some stone, we got some wood. What we can do is build a hatchet. So a hatchet is really good, very important, because if the if the stone pick gives us thatch, let me show you, more thatch than wood, a hatchet will give us more wood than thatch. And if a ha if a stone pick gives us more flint than stone, a hatchet will give us more stone than flint as you can see now let me show you okay give us flint and stone you know 16 stone 8 flint for the hatchet 8 uh, stone and 16 flint for the for the pickaxe 
and it goes the same for wood so they work in this way where you keep both of them around you depending on which resource you need but each of them will give you both resources so with that out of the way we got a level here i'm just going to dump it into weight uh thank you so now uh, what i could do is probably um learn the rest of the cloves because we need to protect ourselves from the element and maybe make a water skin that that sounds about right okay so water skin and those needs hide as you can see we don't have any hide hide is leather in arc survival but we can already make the cloth shirt because it's only take those only take fiber so we're gonna double click on them and we can also make a campfire i'm going to make one of those as well so i'm going i need a couple minutes to for those to craft but once it's crafts up i can just click and drop or i can double click on it as i'm about to show you yeah i can double click on it or put the thing on uh, the mouse on it and press e that also works we got a level from uh crafting those things because in arc everything you do will give you experience points whether crafting fighting or building or harvesting will give you uh, experience points. so i'm going to put this point into stamina we got once you actually uh, put a point into a stat it takes you automatically to this engram list in case you want to learn something uh, we actually do want to learn something we have 10 points so we should be a little bit wise with it i'm going to learn a touch foundation a sleeping bag so this should be it for now what we should be crafting is a spear what do we need for spear a little bit more wood and we'll be actually able to craft one going to need a uh, use a hatchet so i'm going to hit this tree with the hatchet and i have to pay attention to my weight as you can see now i can't move i can't jump inventory is too heavy to jump the reason for that is because my weight is at 131.2 at uh on a 130 which means i'm overweight i cannot move so i'm going to first craft a couple of those spears before dumping something the reason i'm crafting a lot um maybe I'll even one more the reason why is because uh maybe even a touch foundation uh, two or two of those the reason i'm crafting more spears is because spears break very 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 easily and they would break randomly so sometimes you like in the moment where you need it the most it might break so i'd rather it might so i'd rather have extra than less so now that all my items that i wanted are crafted i need one more of those uh i can i'm going to try to dump something that overweighs me and i think i might dump the metal because you might want to hold on to that but i think for the sake of this tutorial i'm gonna dump it i'm gonna dump some of those uh least favorite um berries uh also i'm going to dump some of this stone and some of this wood because now i have the tools and i'm in this area where uh, resources are abundant so i should not have an issue with harvesting them back so what i'm going to do um this is a, a, a pve thing is that i'm going to click on the structure and i'm going to see how far i can go so as you can see here it says too close to an enemy foundation or gate and the the thing they're talking about is actually those pillars that are all over the place so if i keep walking over here it's going to turn green as you see so here i can totally build i don't have any issue with building because there's no pillars there's no structures no anything going here which actually is perfect in our case because we don't want to be going too far we want to stay we want to stay relatively safe in this area because there is herbivores and plastic creatures and we want to stay also close to the water because we will be getting thirsty a lot because we are still under the weather if it gets too hot our water will be depleted like crazy and as you can see we got a, a level just by putting this touch foundation down because you get level for a, literally anything you do in arc so now i'm going to put this level probably into weight because we're about to be carrying some stuff uh, i'm going to get rid of the weight of this by dropping it to the ground okay um i might also i might also need to make some more touch foundation not necessary but you know i will do it just for the sake of actually doing it so i need a little bit of wood i'm going to use the hatchet as you can see it gives me more wood than touch i'm going to switch to the pickaxe just to get a little bit more of that a touch so here is where it's actually important to have a, a little shelter a little berries because you might get hungry right out of the sun 
and if you're actually not having any berries around you might not be able to feed yourself but if you have too much berries and can carry resources you can actually build a little place for yourself so i'm going to craft two more of those thatched foundations um they're going to be crafted in a second they are automatically going to my hotbar here at the floor number four because um i put them there so i put my thatch in a way where they don't actually where i have quite an it's not an even ground that's, that's the word so i put this uh thatch foundation in an uneven ground which means i probably will have a lot of uh issues trying to make this space a little bit bigger so what i'm going to do is just uh, select this and look for an the most even ground i could find like i think i think somewhere here should be fine i'm going to make two more of those touch foundation i just pressed the button where the the key bound was for the touch foundation and it crafted more because i had them uh, i had enough uh, materials to make it in my inventory so it automatically makes it so and it looks like actually this is perfect yeah exactly this is perfect so what we can do maybe let's do this yeah we have one more so why not uh i did put it i think it's a leg spike that's why uh and also when you demolish something it gives you a portion of the items that were used to craft it so if for example it gave us 10 touch drift uh, wood and seven fiber and normally it costs 15 fiber, 20 touch, and 6 wood. So it's it's a it's a fairly uh, good amount. So now we have a little uh, shelter in place. What we can do is start by making the most primary things we need. We need a sleeping bag, but we need hide for it, which means we need to kill an animal for it. So the next thing we need is a storage box. The storage box will allow us to actually store our items. We go to crafting, double click on it will uh, allow us to store our items to that because we cannot carry all of that on us we've got a level just maybe drop it into health uh i'm going to click press e on this so that i can place it uh probably place it here uh, we later have to put on some walls and such but for now we actually will be able to drop everything where we can actually go around and harvest some materials so that we are actually making our place better by harvesting as well materials as well we also will be able to get more levels which is pretty good so i'm a little bit alternating between the stone pick and the and the stone hatchet the reason for that is because i not only i need the wood but i also need the thatch i'm trying to be careful to not hit this triceratops because those things are passive they're very nice like to be around they wouldn't attack you but if you attack it you are going to have a bad day so i was i got too little um into talking and i forgot that i harvested a little bit too much of the uh, the wood so i can't really move i'm going to throw away some of it uh, to throw something away you put the mouse on it and you press o by default it's the button o so as you see i'm very very slow as you can read can't run and can't jump i'm very very slow because i'm encumbered but i'm very close to the base so i'm just going to drop all of this over here so now it's getting dark um when it's actually too dark to see one thing that you can do is press tab the button tab and type in gamma and say a number from two to four by two being the the standard uh contrast or luminosity uh value and five being the highest for example if i press gamma four and press enter boom you see now it's much brighter now i can see even if it's a little bit dark uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this tree from here. I like this tree. Uh, it's nothing personal, but I'm just going to remove it because it's triggering me and I can't be in peace. I need to make it uh, like a, a, a tree by two. So it's actually handy that I'm just around the, the this uh, storage box so I can put on, I can put all of those uh, that loot back into the box so uh, this thing is going to go down in a moment uh and it there it goes those uh redwood trees are actually known for having for giving you a much greater amount of wood than average trees so keep that in mind if you can't actually hit your tree all that much that means that it's just that these redwood trees are actually way much more resistant than the average 
I'm going to make another thatch foundation and another storage box. Thatch foundation is crafted. I'm gonna drop it over here. And our storage box, drop it. We'll drop maybe one here. Maybe drop one here for now. Okay. So we got another level. Let's see. Uh, maybe we put this one into... Maybe wait. Maybe keep pumping some weight a little bit. Are we in wood yet? So in level 11, as you can see here, you we will be able to start building wooden uh, structure. But for now, we can stick with the thatch structures because this place is fairly safe. So we're going to learn the thatch engrams, thatch ceiling, thatch door frame, thatch door or thatch. I don't know how you pronounce it. So, oh yeah, we actually can make a bed right now. So making a bed is going to be extremely crucial. So what we will be doing now is crafting few uh, walls. Maybe let me pick some more of that, some more of that. Oh, I think I need fiber. Yes, so we need to gather up fiber. Uh, so I'm going to drop all of the items in the storage box just so that we can move faster. Uh, so you're going to go to those bushes. Those bushes that actually gives you the berries also gives you fiber, which is pretty handy because uh, not only we need the, the berries, but also you need the fiber in the same time. And uh, thankfully we got multiple storage units, so storing things won't be a problem for us because there is going to be a problem when you don't have that much weight on you and you will have to do a lot of those little trips. We're going to pick up some uh, thatch and a little bit more wood. We got already the fiber here. Remember, the fiber is the main ingredient for uh, fiber and thatch is the main ingredient for those uh, thatch structures. We need a, a door frame and a door and we need few ceilings. I don't know. I'm not counting now. You can do your map later on when you want to build your own thing. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to bother. Uh, we're hungry, so I'm gonna eat some of those major berries. Those major berries are actually the most nutri nutritional um, berries there is. So, uh, but definitely you should also keep some of them because those berries are the favorite of dinos. Yeah, after you put place a structure, you can actually pick it up within 30 seconds. So, um, yeah, I probably will have actually multiple doors. Uh, maybe let's make another door frame. And another door the server is a little bit laggy where i'm at, at this moment but it should not be a big deal um i have another one i should probably put it here and i think here i'm just going to close this even if it's the most convenient because most resources are this way so i'll probably be coming from those sides not from the back yeah so now that we have our base more or less secured i'm going to drop the door here and drop a door here we got we need another wall here i just clicked the 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 hotkey where the the wall was and as you see it is obstructed but thankfully this is actually something that is harvestable so what i could do okay let me just drop everything in a storage unit so i'm dropping everything because i'm going to be harvesting some stone and stone is fairly heavy so I'm just going to use the hatchet because I actually do need stone, but I also need some of that flint. And if once I harvest this, this resource node will be destroyed and therefore I will be able to actually uh, place a wall in here. Uh, let me switch to the hatchet to get some more flint. Uh, boom, boom, boom. This should be destroyed about a second now. Okay, a second. Boom, and it's perfect. So I'm going to come here, drop all of this. I'm going to use this wall to close this place. Okay, now that our place is closed, I could definitely just take the ceilings and drop them here. But I'm going to make it two uh, levels high. The reason why I'm going to put it two levels high is because, as you can see, let me stand here. As you can see, this is barely uh, the level as high as one human. So it's going to be a little bit tight inside. So I'm just going to drop one here, one here. We need a couple more walls. Let me craft some more. Uh, these touch bases are going to be quite temporary. Uh, not to mean that they're bad. It's just mean that you might actually uh, not leave them after a certain point or, uh, or upgrade them into a better material if you like the area where you're at. But the main, uh, main uh, objective for you as a uh, as starting up is to actually survive. And whatever allows you to survive, that's what you're going to go with it, obviously. 
So those leftover walls, I'm just gonna drop them there. I'm not too bothered by them. Do I have thatch? So I'm I run out of thatch. What I need to do is probably go out, uh, take my stone uh, pickaxe because that's what is actually needed for thatch, and I'm going to go and smash some trees. And I got plenty, plenty thatch now. So what I can do, come back to my little base over here. I definitely will be putting a stairs. Uh, ooh, we got two levels. I mean, that's good. So I'm going to drop one in weight and one in stamina. So what we could do, do we have... Oh yeah, we can make wood already. So you know what? I'm going to change, show you how to change from one material to another. And we need to craft some ceilings now. Uh, let me quickly get some of that wood and we need foundation so we need six of those what do we need to make six yeah we need some more wood let me just pick up all of it three and i think i'll probably be using all the wood we have yeah perfect so well, how to change a material to another so you're going to just you see it look it highlights it underneath it and if i press Boom, it destroys the other one, gives you a person like a percentage of the 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 material that you use to craft the first one and then it's going to change it to a better material, stronger material. I'm going to change just the foundation just for now so that we keep things a little bit moving fast. And I'm going to now drop everything because I don't want to be unencumbered. Uh, I'm going to use those ceilings that we crafted as you can see boom drop on here drop on here So now we have a beautiful little base. It's cute. It's a cube, but it's a safe It's a it's a warm place where we can call it home uh, What can I make? Let me first drop this fire come somewhere here. It doesn't matter Let me just drop some of those wood in it just so that i don't forget let me get empty so that i'm not encumbered and we are going to go for our first hunt right now the first thing we're going to do is we need to look for some small as dino that we can actually kill without getting murdered we're not gonna be fighting a bronto or a stego or anything like that <laughs> So the main lesson that you have to learn in ARK is patience, because this will be happening a few times. A lot of times. So right before we get rudely interrupted by the server shutdown, um, we managed to make a little secure uh, shelter for ourselves. What we need to make now, we also have our little resources here, everything ready. What we need now is to go kill our first animal. Going on first little hand, we need to get ourselves some hide or leather. Uh, we need to get that so that we can craft ourselves a bed. So to do that, we need to find a small animal. We cannot actually fight a stego, a stegosaur, or a trike, or an anki. We cannot find any of those animals, fight, fight them with a spear. They're way too strong for that. Like uh, even if this is a low level Anki, he'll probably kill us in two swipes. So we need to look around the water, look around the the chillest areas. We will might be able to find some small dinos to actually kill. Uh, we're running out of stamina pretty quick. I think now we should. Oh, we got five levels, probably from being disconnected. Uh, maybe we drop a couple levels into stamina and a little bit into the movement speed. Uh, maybe even into oops uh, yeah okay so i wanted to drop some a little bit into the melee damage but it's not gonna really matter all that much so a fiomia or fiomia or i don't know how you pronounce it this this fat ass uh we could kill it multiple ways but it's a level 90 so it's probably going to take quite a beating before it dies and we don't have the means to kill it we only have five spears remember that the spears are actually uh, destroying at random moments and megaloceros uh, those things are fast they can die quickly but they are fast so after we hit it once it will take off and we will never be able to actually fight it so right now I'm in the redwood biome which is definitely not the safest not where you want to be you should try to spawn somewhere by the beach um, I just didn't I just didn't know that I am just right by the biome but as you can see this is a dead fish 
this is a dead salmon uh, I don't know if those salmons give any high oh that's a terror bird definitely don't want to be around that thing because they are pretty aggressive but I'm gonna try to harvest this real quick damn it it broke my hatchet broke let me try with my pickaxe it gave us some fish meat but it did not give us any um, hide we, that, which what actually we need uh, what we can do is just, we don't have any berries right now uh, the meat has to be cooked before we eat it because if we eat it right now it will hurt us it, we will lose some health um, so I'm going to be gathering some of those uh, berries the thing is if you don't eat for a long time you actually will pass out as you see torpidity it's rising up 3.3 over time because our food is at zero so I'm going to try to eat those berries we just harvested but also try to not eat those black ones the narco berries uh, with this lag it's a little bit sketchy because it feels like I would I could have misclicked it but we are going to try to find a dodo if we find a dodo or a lystro or something like that something small and manageable to kill oh look at that i mean uh that's that's the thoroughbred that we just talked about and it's dead uh i'm going to try to repair my how much time it has it has one minute before it disappears so i'm gonna try to grab some flint just to repair my hatchet i need some thatch some flint uh can i repair the hatchet i cannot yet i need some flint yeah exactly so let me hit this with the pickaxe before the pickaxe also breaks those things break all the time and uh, there we go but you can repair it very easily and it's repaired let me hit that okay we got some flint now we're repairing the if you, you want to know how i'm repairing it it's just by clicking so that's a dire bear over there so i'm going to drag this body by pressing e away from it so dire bears are pretty passive they're not gonna go out of their way to attack you but if you get too close to it it will attack you and it will kill you with one swipe uh, this guy over here is a little bit too close so i'm going to use our hatchet as you can see it's much better at gathering but oh, damn it this is this guy is scary um we're going to use our hatchet to pick up as many uh hide as possible because the hatchet gives more hide than meat but the pickaxe gives more meat than hide just like it works with every other uh, resource hatchet and pickaxe go hand in hand now that it's actually there, as you see, it's super blown out. I'm going to type gamma 2. As we said, 2 to 5 is actually the range from uh, super dark to super bright. So I think we did not really hunt anything. We did not kill anything, um, technically. But we got the hide and we got some meat, which we actually wanted. We're going to go back to our little shelter. We're going to cook the meat. The reason for that we need meat and not berries is because meat will he will heal us. So if we are uh, we are losing health, we can eat the meat not only to recover our food, but also to recover our health, which is pretty, pretty handy. Um, let me come here. I can just drop the meat and light the fire. I have a little bit more fish, so I could actually make another um fire camp and that would be actually a good idea because uh it could be uh, separating the meat into two fire camps and make it twice as fast i mean so that we have more meat and we don't have to actually wait there for a long time and i just had to jump real quick to get our uh, wood because we did not have enough Okay, so we're gonna have our second fire camp in a second. Okay, I'm going to drop it over here just by the first one. Uh, put some of that, maybe put some of these. And maybe I take half of these. So to split a stack in half, press shift and drag. It's going to split it, 20 here and 20 here. So yeah, so this is pretty handy. Just thought you might want to know. I'm going to pick up this meat because this has only a certain amount of uh, slots in it this is prime fish meat um this is pretty good to tame up carnivores but we're nowhere close to that right now so we're gonna let that slide did we get any level no we did not get any level but we got 80 ingram points which means we can learn some goodies so what we could do we have we already know how to make a bed maybe let's do that now and uh, what else we could be making we could be making a water skin that's gonna be pretty handy 
and one more thing we are need to make is a bow this is going to be very very important and bolas bolas as well because obviously uh those things are like extremely important even if like even more important in pvp actually because those things can uh i would say immobilize a small dino or a human for that matter so they will allow you to stay at a relatively safe distance from it so that you can shoot it knock it down kill it or whatever so i'm gonna drop my bed over here and what it, this will do is that if i die i'll be able to re um respawn over here right by my goodies right in my bed hello sir we were doing something over here you're a little bit intruding thank you so i was saying we actually uh, be able to respawn in our in our base so i'm going to give myself a little bit more stamina and uh, did i learn to make the bullets yes so i'm going to craft maybe two of those maybe even three of those because you can only use it once so i'm going to come back to the engram list and type in arrow because we need those arrows for the bow uh we did we craft a bow uh we did not craft a bow what do we need to craft a bow we need some fiber let's get us some fiber we can just go to any bushes over here boom 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 we got some fiber so now we can craft ourselves a bow and arrows we can only make three because we don't have enough fiber yeah okay so i'm just going to keep con uh, continue harvesting fiber while we're crafting the bow and we should have pretty much enough to make a bunch and bunch of uh, arrows in a second oh, i'm getting only berries now <laughs> okay we're getting some fiber perfect so now we're gonna go make 20 arrows i mean that's pretty good the next thing I'm, I want to craft is a slingshot and a slingshot is going to be a very important piece of equipment for the moment. The reason why you want to craft a slingshot is because you will be able to knock down a creature with a slingshot. A relatively low level creature and a pretty weak creature for that matter but nonetheless it is you are going to be able to knock down a creature and the reason why is this so big is because if you can knock down something you can tame it as a matter of fact some creatures actually can be tamed without having to knock them down just by uh, passive taming them we will get into that some other episode but for now we are going to keep it at um, not ko knockdown type of taming so now that we got some fiber what we're going to do i'm going to craft a slingshot so the arrow and uh, bow are pretty pretty handy when we try to kill some creature let me show you real quick so you see this parasaur over here which level is it it's level 50 so it's a pretty high level relatively high i'm going to use the bola first right so i'm going to use the bola on it boom now it cannot move i'm going to come around to its face and shoot it right in the face and this is going to do way much more damage. Headshots deal way much more damage. In general, some dinos do not have the uh, headshot multiplier. As you can see, it's pretty bloody and boom. It took four arrows, I think, to, to, to knock it down. So what I could do, use my hatchet and boom, 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 boom. Now I'm going to be able to harvest a ton and ton and ton of hype. Now we are actually in the game. The reason for that is if you were to actually just shoot it right up front, it will just run away you won't be able to catch it and the reason why i went for a parasaur not a stego a stego will you won't be able to um uh, to stun it down with a bola but a parasaur is pretty small it's pretty small dino so you can actually just uh, quickly uh, shoot it with a bola couple arrows to the face and it's and it's a goner so now we did not even have to use our spears but i'm gonna keep them on my hot bar because we might actually they might actually come in very handy very soon so now we got more meat oh i even forgot to light the fire on this one we got some more meat we got some more uh resources i'm just going to keep them over here uh, just to be uh, light and mobile if the server wants to be faster so i have a water skin I am fairly close to the water. I'm going to eat those meat. I'm, if I, now that I'm fairly close to the water, I can just quickly run down there and fill the jar of water. So if it's raining, you can just open your inventory, 
press E on the water jug and it will fill it or you will have to go to a body of water press E on the water skin and it will fill it and this will actually allow you to drink even if you're not around the water which is gonna be pretty pretty handy and your key to actually move in and exploring things because there's nothing worse getting thirsty with no means of transportation somewhere pretty far from the water so now that we actually got hide we can make all sorts of things but what mainly we need to make a mortar and pestle having a mortar and pestle is going to be very very important okay i'm gonna drop the mortar and pestle here and i'm going to go to my engrams and learn narcotics okay so now that i learned them as you can see they're here they will take one spoiled meat and five narco berries okay i got the spoiled meat in i got the narco berries in and now i'm going to craft this so what this will do is that it will give me an item that if so something or someone drink this item this will it's like five times more stronger than narco berries it has it's way much more potent and it doesn't uh, expire and this thing if i feed it to a dino it will be it will be asleep for longer but if i combine it with the arrow it will give me a trank arrow or a poisonous arrow but first you need to learn the engram you're just gonna come here type arrow it's a level 21 and we are level 18 so soon we'll be able to make it so we're gonna hold on to that so I want, this is why i want to make this uh this uh guide as constructive as possible from spawning by the beach to having a little shelter to having your first dino of your choice as long as it's not like some crazy ass dino uh so that you know you stop dying all the time because i know how frustrating that can be and one of the main things i would advise you to tame would be a trike a trike is going to be the best tame that you can tame when you're at a, at a low levels because not only it, it will offer you protection like very heavy serious protection but also it's going to be to help you carry things harvest thatch harvest wood uh, really amazing harvester but also harvest narco berries and major berries and all types of berries because harvesting berries is going to be very very important when you want to tame up a big a larger creature Ooh, i was gonna jump okay so we have actually came back to base we're going to pick up the meat because we were getting hungry and the meat the berries were not cutting it anymore I'm going to hold on to the charcoal for now because that will come in handy a little bit later. I'm just gonna chunk it, like dump it all over here. Uh, we probably need to eat some of this meat. Um, I'm not going to cook this, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this in a minute. Uh, one thing that I need to do is see if I can already craft the arrows. So I still need two more levels to be able to craft those arrows. Uh, but one thing I forgot to mention is that crafting a narcotic, as you will about to see, gives quite a lot of uh, experience points. You see, as, like that little jump, that's a lot of experience points, especially for level 19. I mean, uh, I, I remember like back in the days, we used to actually level up a dino, the creature, uh, not creatures, not dinos, character like this, new character like this. And the trick to get a lot of spoiled meat is to get a stack that is about to uh, uh, spoil, right? And you cl right click on it, go to split stack and press all. What it's gonna do is going to split this to individual pieces and they will all share the same uh, uh, spoil timer instead of spoiling one at a time they will all spoil all together uh, all at once so what i'm going to do drop these two spoiled meats over here i'm going to pick up some of those narcotics i got some no, not narcotics sorry the narco berries i got some here i'm going to craft those meanwhile i'm waiting on my meat to spoil so as you can see the meat all spoiled all at once now we actually have the second stack to split i'm going to come here uh, split all and and as you can see it is all going to split in 11 seconds i'm going to drop this one here and let it to craft it's gonna make me 18 of those uh, narcotics i'm going to stay uh, relatively close to my base so that i can still get some of that experience from crafting the narcotics and i'm going to pick up these bushes over here as you can see i'm already getting a few levels i just need one or two more levels before i'll be able to make those uh, uh 
the arrows, the track arrows, that's what they're called. There you go. The reason why I want, I'm trying to get narcotics is because I'm, I want to show you how to actually move very fast and not actually have to go with the small increments and not have to tame like a dodo, like a beach dodo and like whatever, but straight up go for a mount like a parasaur, a trike, maybe even a stego, you know, we could, if we have actually more uh, of those, we could definitely go for a stego, and I assure you, if you get yourself a stego, when just starting off, bye bye are the days where you keep dying in the beach over and over, I mean, this guy, look at this, this is a majestic beast, if we get like, something like, oh, actually we got that level, hey, I didn't even pay attention, let me drop it in, uh... okay, so now we can actually type arrows, boom, Trank arrows and to craft trank arrows you need one arrow in one narcotic so for each arrow and one narcotic you get one trank arrow that is a fair deal damn I'm going to try to make a little bit more let me craft those as you see I can make 18 because I have 18 stone arrows but I need some actual stone arrows so I need some fiber and some flint okay that should be enough I'm going to make the rest of the uh, the arrows so now what I want to do is you're going to click these arrows and drag them to your bow because that's how you equip them otherwise you will have the live arrows in them and that's what you don't want because you might end up killing your dino. So here's a tip for you. You're going to go to a website called dodorex.com and this website you're going to enter say you want to tame a stego level 55 you're going to uh, enter it in the search bar and it's going to tell you how much food it will take, how much time it will take, how many arrows, punches, uh, slingshots it will take. So we're going to do just that right now. So I just checked the dodorex.com. A stegosaur level 55 will take around 25 hours in total to knock down or 15 headshots. Uh, but it will take around 200 major berries to tame up and around 20 minutes of time. So we can definitely do this uh, and use the terrain to our advantage to always stay kind of higher than the stake on. We all can pray that we're not going to crash in the wrong moment. So I'm going to put the gamma up to four so that I can see what I'm doing. Uh, one main advantage you have over stegos is speed. So you can use that to your advantage. Hit it move around a little bit get some uh, space load your bow and boom to the face run again do not stand for too long or it will catch up and if it does catch up to you you're dead and if it just puts in two hit probably you will die Spe especially if you fall from some rocks like this but the reason i'm running here is because i'm hoping to actually get it stuck oops that, that's not a good jump but i did not lose a lot of health on that so I was hoping that it actually will get stuck on there and like make a natural trap. Oops, I'm too close. I'm too close. I need to give it some space. Probably will come back here. And this is a very good place that I can use to actually use in my favor. One more thing when you're using those arrows and ooh, that was a big hit. Uh, is you should space them. Don't spam them too much because they need to, uh, they, go, they work gradually. And if you spam them, they don't stack very well. So you should definitely give three, four, five seconds between each arrow and try to aim for the face, try to aim for the headshot because headshot deals a lot more torpor than normal shots and uh, reloading your arrow, um, reloading your bow takes a little bit of time and slows you down so be wary of that so that it does not actually uh, put you into some crazy situation. Uh, one way to know that a dinosaur uh, torpor is getting a little bit uh, higher is that at some at some point it will start running away and that's where you know that actually it's just about to pass out okay what is it doing now what is it doing trying to run away we're trying to turn this thing got a worse turn radius than a bus whoops that one missed that's not good okay now it's a flea mode now it's running away I definitely don't want to knock it down in the water, but I also don't want it to completely run away from me. Try to shoot it in the face. Okay, I run out of ammo. I run out of arrows. I have one more, but I have this uh, slingshot on me. So I can use this slingshot to actually inflict some more torpor. 
and it seems like it's kind of stuck right now so i can just spam it here and it feels pretty safe i'm also trying to be a little bit mobile and keep an eye on that other stick over there because it seems like he's running toward me i don't want to get if it gets too close to me i need to run and it seems like it's also stuck as well which is pretty handy but now it is free and it is coming for me i think i should book it i cannot continue doing this anymore so after shooting this with a million slingshot um i think i'm going to have to go around and make actually more of those arrows now that it's stuck here it's like a natural trap for it for it which i'm going to use in my advantage i'm definitely not gonna hit it anymore the reason for that as you can see it is pretty bloody and do slingshot deals quite some damage which means there is quite of a risk of killing it which we really don't want we want this beast to be our friends and i think because they changed the stego with the last update so that's why the dodorex needs still to update its database okay so now we got ourselves a little bit more of those uh we can actually make some more of those trank arrows we got probably around 12 something like that but we're level 22 now 23 which is pretty good once you pass level 20 what you should be doing is making yourself a forge a refining forge is going to be a very important piece of equipment to have around you need some fiber flint hide stone and wood i believe we have all of those in our details uh, perfect so the forge is going to be very important for one main reason to melt metal so i'm going to place it somewhere over here not too picky about where to put it and i'm going to put some wood into it the reason for that is because it uses wood or thatch to fire up and i have some little metal that i picked up earlier so to pick up metal you actually need to find some metal nodes or if you're lucky by hitting those water no water rocks or even normal rocks with a pickaxe or a hatchet you will actually be able to uh, gar harvest just a tiny bit of metal but even that tiny bit of metal is going to be enough for you to craft a smithy let me show you real quick here a smithy in the gram ingram list a smithy requires five metal ingots and as you can see we already got one each two uh, raw metal will give you one metal ingot so we definitely have enough to craft one smithy we just need uh, to wait for it to melt that okay so there is a level which level level 25 tyrannodon actually this is a perfect thing to have right now oops that one missed that was weird okay let me hit it with a bullet so that it doesn't fly away boom because tyrannodon on one of the very few uh flyers that you can actually um uh, hit with a bola and act oh that that was one hit in the face okay i mean perfect so the fact that tyrannodon are actually carnivore creatures means that we need to have some meat uh, ready in hand so apparently we spoiled all of the meat to create the narco uh the trank arrows sorry the trank arrows so what we're going to do i'm going to equip these normal arrows and try to find something to kill it is okay that the tyrannodon is passed out over there it's actually gonna get hungry over time while we uh, get some meat for it uh, i definitely could feed it a uh, raw meat uh, cooked meat sorry but it's not gonna be as fast or act as good as feeding it the uh, raw meat but i seen over there where we were standing a minute ago let me quickly uh cancel those because there's a little bit annoying to walk like that i seen a parasaur where right where we were standing so what i could definitely do is maybe yeah there you go it's a level 15 parasaur so i could tame this parasaur the reason why i might want to tame this parasaur is because it will help us gather berries at a much much higher rate than we do just by ourselves uh, the problem is that it's in the bush so it is going to be a little bit tricky but what we could do is actually kill this tyrannodon that is over here which level is this one this is a level 45 but it's okay we already got one knocked out i'm going to ah you know what let's knock this one out instead let's knock this one out and kill the other one the reason for that is we're going to kill one to get ourselves the the meat to feed the second one to actually be able to tame it if the other one took one arrow this one will take two 
So now I can just come here. Uh, let me quickly grab my pike and I can stab it. I'm sorry, this doesn't look so good, but you will get used to it. Okay, boom. Uh, now I'm gonna hit it with the hatchet to get. Oh, actually, I wanted to hit it with the pickaxe because I need the meat, not the hide, right? So I'm gonna give me more meat. I'm going to go to where did I knock out this guy? Okay, perfect. So this I'm going to put the meat in its inventory. What does what this does? It is going to actually uh, tame it. What we can do is go look for the parasaur, hit it with a bola. Perfect. Boom. So now I'm going to equip my trank arrows. Make sure those are trank. Hit it with the face. Wait one or two seconds. Three seconds, preferably. Boom another one and it's down the reason why they're dropping down so fast is because they are very low levels and i'm going to need some berries remember major berries are the best to tame a uh, dinosaur it's actually day let me gamma down gamma two boom so one useful tip is that you can actually go to settings and key bind the gamma down or gamma up uh, you can key bind them to a, a to the keyboard so you don't have to actually type it uh it says taming and unconscious the unconscious bar the purple bar will go down once that one is depleted at 100 percent the dino will wake up and the reason to act uh, and the way to actually keep it down and sleeping is by force feeding it narco berries or narcotics if you have narcotics preferably if you have something better preferably but probably you will be saving your when you start in you usually will be saving your narcotics to make the uh, uh, arrows and just feeding the dino narco berries because especially with low level dinos it really doesn't matter all that much it's pretty narco, ber narco berries are pretty potent so i'm picking up berries right now just so that i can feed them a little bit so that they don't wake up but i got i need to go and give the parasaur some of those major berries And as you can see, if I drop drag those narco berries here, I'm gonna force feed in maybe five or seven of those. And as you can see, this torpidity bar it's rising. 326, 328. This purple bar is rising. It's not going down. So oops, I'm getting stuck inside it. Uh, now I need to go. Yeah, this is the parasaur. It's right over here. I'm going to go and feed it the major berries, which it likes because it's a herbivore, right? So this guy need major berries. I don't know exactly how many it will need, but I think I have plenty, plenty. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty, pretty fast. He's pretty hungry. It's gonna be really fast. It's gonna be pretty cool. So what we can do? Go to the engram and type in Tyrannodon. To make a saddle for the Tyrannodon, you need to be level 38, which is unfortunate. We did not really think this through, <laughs> but it's going to be fast. As you can see from the start of this episode, we were level 1 and now we're level 25, so it's going to be very soon. The Parasaur, we need also a, a saddle for it. And for fortunately, this is level 9, so it's easy to learn and very easy to craft. I'm going to craft one of those just to prepare it. So actually this uh, parasaur is going to be extremely important, especially when it comes to uh, creating trank arrows, those precious trank arrows that we are able to knock down creatures so easily with. The reason for that is because herbivores harvest berries and uh, carnivores harvest meat. Tyrannodon is a, oops, yeah, it got, the Tyrannodon is a carnivore it harvests meat but it's very bad at killing things obviously so i'm going to put this saddle on it and now we can ride it look at us we got our very first dino and how how you what do you think about that and look at us we actually got ourselves our first dino okay as you can see this dino is not the fastest not the strongest but definitely much better than Bane on foot. See if I come to a bush with a and press uh, left click, it's going to harvest some berries. Definitely way much better than harvesting it on foot. Yeah, so we're just gonna go around get all these bushes here. As you can see, it's pretty amazing when it comes to harvesting. And this is a low level parasaur. So just while waiting on this Tyrannodon to tame them, we actually harvested a crazy amount of berries. And from all those berries. A lot of major berries and a lot of narco berries which we are interested in the most at this moment 
thank you for your service. This was pretty good. I'm uh, going to take all of those berries over here. I'm going to grind them down to become narcotics. It's going to give us 35 narcotics. Pretty, pretty decent. Uh, by this time, all of those have probably smelted. Let me switch off the fire here, which means now I can make a smithy. I need some stones and I need some high. I probably will demolish those uh, fire camps. I don't need them right now. They are super cheap to make and I think this place will be perfect for a smithy. Let me quickly drop it over here and boom, perfect. So a smithy will be quite important at this stage. You will need... I'm gonna put the ingots in here. I'm gonna come here. The main thing I want from a smithy at this level is a crossbow. A crossbow is going to be a game changer. I'm telling you, it's gonna be a game changer. Unfortunately, it needs a little bit more ingot. But apart from that, fiber and wood. Pretty easy to get, right? Apart from that, we need a pickaxe and a hatch. And a hatchet. Yeah, pick. Yeah, pickaxe. There we go and a hatchet and i'm not talking this primitive hatchet but the oops i cannot write yeah a metal hatchet those are pretty cheap to make if you can see uh it needs just pretty much one uh wood and ten hide right i'm gonna drop this here and drop this here so this fiomia level 20 is our perfect candidate for the hide thank you mr fiomia for the hide you provided us today it will not go wasted and it will we will make good use out of it would you mind shooting you in the face how many hours are it gonna take three four maybe five let's see boom not only they have better durability but they also can harvest a better quality resource especially a pickaxe will be pretty important very early on as you can see this one is eight eight ingots uh but don't forget that you actually need the pickaxe to harvest the metal which means you can literally harvest some metal out of rocks if you have enough patience but at first you don't really have much choice uh the only other way would be to go up the mountain let me show you real quick as you can see here we are on around 60 35 you will have to go around the mountains to find some metal but the other way to find some metal is to actually as you see we already got 16 metal that's pretty good we won't be able to get metal that easily by using primitive hatchets and this is how you actually get your first metal uh, tools going your first crossbow and all that without having to go all the way to the mountain because that is a dangerous place you cannot go with a low level parasaur or a low level tyrannodon uh, even the tyrannodon even if it can take you there flying it probably might not be able to bring you back because metal is a pretty heavy resource i'm going to drop this metal over here so we just got interrupted by the doggo of the of the luck press like for good luck <laughs> Okay, so our Tyrannodon actually has been successfully tamed, which is perfect. Uh, which level are we? We're level 28, pretty, still pretty far from making the saddle for this. But I mean, hey, we got a flyer. You know how to tame a flyer right now. If you can make, uh, if you are already in the level of uh, crafting the saddle of it, uh, you can go ahead, knock yourself out. Otherwise, I'm just going to tell my buddy here to land somewhere there. And stay there until we get to the level of actually um, being able to fly this thing. So I'm just gonna pick up those. I'm gonna drop them in the smithy. And we'll be able to make a hatchet. Good. Priorities. We got the hatchet. Now we need to make a crossbow. We need to wait a little bit for the metal to melt. But once we get the crossbow. The crossbow uses the same arrows as the bow. And also uses the trunk arrow, but it has a much better efficiency at using them, which means you will be required to use way much less trunk arrows than if you were using a bow, which is pretty amazing. Keep one stuck over here and maybe split two or three of those just to make myself a little bit more uh, narcotics. Narco, yeah, narcotics. Sorry, I got a brain fart. One more tip. 
Uh, if you actually are going to want to wait some time and you don't want to be sitting there feeding your character at all times, you know, because you get you get hungry, you get uh, thirsty all the time, you can just lay in a bed. Laying in a bed uh, slows down the amount of water and food you use. So you can actually, uh, I mean, if you're in a PvE server, it's pretty safe to lay in a bed. If you're in a PvP, uh, you better be a little bit careful, but it's apply the same thing applies. So it has been a moment since we left it, probably five minutes. Uh, we got 13 metal ingots out of it. <clears throat> Definitely enough to make our crossbow. We just need some fiber in there and also all the meat have spoiled. So I'm going to add it to the mortar and pestle. And now is where we are actually going to speed things up a notch because we will be crafting uh, a lot and a lot of uh, narcotics. Uh, my body here, the parasaur, let me just whistle, follow me. To whistle, follow me to a dino, just point at it and press T, letter T. It will uh, automatically tell the whistle, the dinosaur to follow me, the one that you're pointing at. So the, the button to actually uh, say all the dinos to stop or unfollow is U. Press U and it, all the dinos will stop following you. So does my body here get some narco berries? I probably will need to go on a little run, harvest up some narco berries, but for now we are fine. I'm going to craft my crossbow and let me quickly grab the fiber. Yes, perfect. Fiber in, crossbow out. Perfect. Now we can actually do some damage we can kill things with much much a better ease we can actually tame things much much easier i got few narcotics i'm gonna make myself some of those narco uh, track arrows but you know what we could be doing is probably taming a stego one thing you have to make sure when attacking another dino by the vicinity of your own dinos is as you can see it's aggression level attacking target you're going to press e hold e go to behavior stance attack your target and turn it to passive because otherwise once you attack something your dinos will go and try to help you in the fight because it, their, their stance is attack my target and sometimes you don't want that if you're trying to tame something or if you're trying to kill something they might actually get themselves killed we have 35 uh, arrows uh, we can definitely start shooting it in the face and try to tame it okay don't go there what are you doing why are you running why are you running so finally this thing went down it took all the arrows we have and i literally had to punch it few times i literally had to punch it few times just to get the final knockdown on it um it was pretty resistant but we can just drop some of those berries in it uh, probably will take around 20 uh 200 berries i think uh around 20 minutes probably so i'm just going to cut to a moment where it's almost about to be tamed up <laughs> and finally our stiggle is successfully tamed up it just took forever well technically 20 minutes 25 minutes i had to literally be checking on it every now and then we actually need to craft a saddle for it i already have everything ready to make it and there's quite some dinos over here out of the sudden. Let me quickly equip it with its saddle. And boom. Okay. They have been uh, changed in the last mod. As you can see, the scales on its back. If I press H, it says hardened. And C changes. Yeah, if you press C, it changes their scales. This one is uh, apply slow, prevent this mod. If I press C again this one is sharpened armor uh sharpened armor penetration and prevent this mod if i press c again uh we come back to the hardened plate that's pretty pretty handy really cool especially in pvp your stegos are really really great the only downside of them is that they are really slow they are super slow okay so apparently different modes will allow you to harvest different type of resources so the sharpened mode allows you to harvest berries as you can see it's really amazing with berries 
the hardened mode allows you to harvest uh, wood and the heavy plate allows you to harvest thatch much more thatch so this is definitely like the the swiss knife of your dinos it can do pretty much all pretty pretty cool but mainly we, at first you will need it to harvest some berries that's the literal the reason why we tamed it up is because it harvests narco berries like crazy and also major berries which will allow you to make narcotics which will allow you to level up faster and also craft the um the trunk arrows which will allow you to tame bigger stronger dinos and as you can see with the sharpened plate one swipe and we get 24 uh nar narco berries which, which is really amazing if you have actually enjoyed this tutorial please consider dropping a like and subscribe definitely helps out the channel really grateful for the time you decided to spend with me today and let me know what i should be covering next let me know what i should be teaching next uh definitely these uh, tutorials was very fun to make probably have left out a lot of stuff i can only think of so many at once but we definitely have learned quite a few, few things from taming your first herbivore taming your first flyer also we learned how to tame up our big most useful dinos like a stego or a trike or something heavier we learned how to build a little shelter with a bed workshop storage so that we have all our stuff organized and we stop dying over and over i really hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time peace